been spending time speaking about the running back position. We call it GMRB. Woo. And we have Shaquem Griffin in this week, was with us yesterday. He is a Florida native. So why not give the top five running backs born in the state of Florida? I am not an expert, so I'll be leaning on you for this list. Born and raised, went to Central Florida as well. So you've been looking at a lot of guys growing up. So let's start it off. You have to give us your top five running backs born in the state of Florida. Who you got? Okay, started at number five. I'm going with Frank Gore. And five. Ooh, five. Five. Gore. Yeah. Five. I mean, I mean a, a yes. train that keeps going. I mean, Frank Gore coming out of Miami, coming off of a knee injury and was yep. leading Miami in rushing yard. I mean, he's a beast. We all know him. He plays several different games. I think he's number one in all running backs today that has 241 played games. Yeah. Yep. I mean, Frank Gore, is, like I said, it's a train that keeps going. He's going to do a heavy lifting. He's going to do heavy work, and he's going to keep pushing. Frank Gore at number five. Third all-time leading rusher. Third all-time He's just behind Walter Payton by 700 But he yards. leads in games Unbelievable. Played. Oh, my so, God. So, uh, exactly, games played 241. But I had to play against this guy, Frank Gore. And the thing about Frank Gore, his legs never <laughs> stopped. It didn't matter when you hit him at the line of scrimmage 15 yards down the field. He always fell forward. Third all time, number five on Shaq's list. Number five. You're gonna get some arguments. Don't step in front of that train. People. Okay. There you go. Who you got coming Who's in four? at number four? Okay, coming in at number four, my one of my favorites, mm -hmm. a home guy, Dalvin Cook. Okay. When Dalvin Cook was at FSU. Ooh. We used to, even being at UCF, we used to rave about this guy. I mean, like I said, a Florida guy, you, you like to celebrate your Florida guys. And FSU, Dalvin Cook did numbers. Always holding down the team, always doing what he's supposed to do. And look, we all are fan of Devin Cook. Coming in at number four, him being at the Minnesota, I hate that we see we had to release him, but he's gonna do work for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Four times straight Pro Bowl selection. I mean, is that a guy you wanna get rid of? No. Somebody's getting a great catch. Dalvin Cook coming in at number four. Dalvin Cook, a young guy on this list. You have Frank Gore, you talked about where he is historically. Dalvin Cook, not done yet, still doing his thing. You have any suitors of places you think he may end up right now? Um, I want to say Miami. Come back home, Dalvin Cook. I'm we back miss home. you, man. We miss you. We waiting on you, man. Dalvin Cook <laughs> coming in at number four. James Cook, his brother, also a Florida guy in the league for Buffalo. Dalvin Cook, four on the list. I'm a little surprised, but I like it. Three. Here we go. Number coming in at number three, Chris Johnson. Hell yeah. You oh, talking DJ about 2K. speed? You talking about speed? Chris Johnson was a prime example of Florida speed for us growing up. I mean, I love that guy. Watching him play, he was one break away from a touchdown at any given Ooh. second. And soon he take off, no matter what angles you take, he's outrunning them. Mm. Coming in from uh, ECU, yes. rushing for 3,000 yards. Man, you talking about counting that high? It'll take me a while. Mm. And talking about the numbers that he put up, I think he was a rookie when he had broke the single season record it was for rushing year, yards for 2,500 yards. This was my rookie year in 2009. <laughs> I got a chance to watch this guy. I always tell people he was gliding across the grass. Everybody else <laughs> was running in their cleats the normal way. This guy was moving at a different pace and was impressive. First round draft pick coming out of a school like ECU was considered undersized. This guy throughout his career, he practiced every single day and played in every game. Now, you were not allowed to ever touch Chris Johnson in practice. <laughs> no one ever did. He was a smaller guy, but, I mean, fast is all get out. CJ 2K, love going against Protecting him. his legs. Got to protect uh, Chris Johnson's legs. Yeah. Okay, coming in at number two, the big and fast. I mean, Florida, we got him. Mm. Derek. Henry. Oh, oh man, I remember watching Derrick Henry around the same class. I remember going to different Nike camps, and you talking about a guy, when I was younger, I thought he was 6'7". 6'7", <laughs> running a 4'4", I couldn't believe it. Jumping a 40-inch vert, and I'm talking about powering through guys and out running them. It don't matter what angle you chose, if you're going to catch up to him, he got a strong stiff arm. Derrick Henry coming in at number two is one of the fan favorites. Did you have to, have to tackle him at one of those camps? Oh, good thing I didn't. We had no pads on, but we did play tag, and even then, it was hard to get close to that guy. I mean, he was the mainstream. Everybody came in from high school, watching him come from Uli, a little north of, of Florida, yep. from Jacksonville. Yep. And he always been big, he always been fast, and it seemed like he just got bigger and faster over the years. Jack, how did you let Nick Saban plucked that man out of the state of Florida. <laughs> Why was he not a Gator, a Seminole, and you name it? Why not? I, I don't know how we didn't keep it's him shame. in Florida. He should have been in Florida with us. 
But we miss you, Derrick Henry. Just know, we always yeah. represent. In his defense, Alabama it was a, a lot better team than all those Florida teams that you yeah. just mentioned. Won the Heisman there too. I got a well. chance to play with CJ. We called 2K. <laughs> we drafted this guy in Tennessee in 2016. He ran for 4,000 yards in high school. So I just nicknamed him 4K when we got a chance to see him. You see his rushing number totals. He didn't play much his rookie year. DeMarco Murray was a starting yeah. running back. And still, you see him at the very top with 8,300 yards. Ooh. Derrick Henry, a reason why I'm standing here, I retired. That is not a guy you want to get in front Florida of. Florida boy. Finally, who you got? Number not one. Number in. one. The one and only Emmett Smith. Hell yeah. Now, okay. when you hear his name, the goats are already Look starting to scream. Him. You are already here. He's talking him. about the most rushing yards, the number one, and still the reigning champ with 18,000 plus yards. I mean, Who's going to catch this guy? I mean, Emmitt Smith's been setting the example for generations to come. I mean, even when I was a kid, when my dad was younger, you talk about the Derrick Henry, you two, you talking about everyone. Chris Johnson, he set the example for all of us coming in from North, North Florida, Pensacola, Emmitt Smith. Thank you for being the example for Florida guys. Oh, I don't know if anyone's catching him, especially nowadays where it's two running backs, three running backs in the system, a lot more passing. Those numbers, and you see the guys up here, Walter Payton, Emma Smith at the very top, and then obviously Frank Gore and those guys. But Emma Smith, what year were you born, Shaq? I was born in 95. So did you used to watch the highlights of Emma Smith? Because that's that time... it, straight, hi straight yeah. highlights. I'm talking about when, when you two was starting, was starting to get bigger, only highlights of Emma Smith, cutting. Juking, running over, breaking tackles, out running guys. I mean, the list can go on. Incredible. So, I played running back when I was in Little League. Uh -huh. I wanted to be like Emmitt Smith, but I just wasn't there yet. But mm. thank you for setting the example. <laughs> you did all right. <laughs> let's get to, let's get to Shaq's top five okay. born in Florida. You'll see it right here. Frank Gore at five, all the way up to num number one, Emmitt Smith. This is Shaquem Griffin's top five running backs. I give it to you. Kyle, Jamie, what yeah. do you guys think? I, I'm actually just marveling at the fact that we have a Hall of Fame logo. That's such a baller move to it's just really cool. smack that Hall of Fame <laughs> logo next to Emma Smith. I'm just sad to see that NFL shield next to Dalvin Cook's name. I really am. Mm -hmm. I, I wish. Now, I understand it's not for long, but the NFL implies that he is not has, does not have a purple next to his name, and it makes me sad. Mm -hmm. He might have a dolphin soon. I, I love this list so much. Is there any way we could get that Emma Smith picture back that one of him? Oh, had, please do. So I got it. Just make your way up. Make your way up. We have that picture of Emmett when he was back in college <laughs> because there's some aesthetics in this thing. Can you please? Uh, can we? The, the one where he's win the Gators and he's running past UCLA. Yeah, yeah there we go. Have it? There go. Okay, so like so many. Th first of all. The turf is hilarious. Yes. Hilarious. <laughs> he got a piece of tape holding up his jersey. Yes. He just wrapped gotta make the tape it tight. around him. Right? <laughs> Look at this guy with the fingerless gloves <laughs> and the neck roll and the stomach hanging out. Was this in 1925? It like looks, this, it's so it looks like a different I sport. I always see the Russell logo right here with yep. the size of your jersey on it. And I just think <laughs> that is unbelievable. With the elbow pads and the shirt sticking out coming out the side. Uh, unbelievable. It's so good. I just I just wanted to That's ask real swag as a proud Floridian. Like, in terms of NFL talent, what is it like to be third behind Texas and California? Mm. What is it like? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that's the first time that I heard that. <laughs> when you represent Florida, Florida, we're always going to have that Florida swag. We're always going to have that confidence. You guys are good. We're always number one in our book. When you're talking about speed, when you're talking about quickness, yeah. Florida, we're going to bring it to you. I'm going to challenge you, too, because I want to put up some other notable good running call. backs born in Florida. Because these guys did not make the list. And... Kyle, Andrew you're, James. you're a running back. Please, that's the name I see. I'm like, oh. Andrew James, not there. Hall of Famer, not on there. I mean, listen, there's Please. so many. All right, so. Please. Look, okay. I'm just going to break this down. down. Mark down. Miller was here yesterday. Down. Neil Anderson was a fantastic uh, running back for the Bears post oh, Walter good. Payton. Some of these guys we covered before. McGahee was the total legend. Legend, legend. Yes. Edger and James, Hall of Famer. Yes. Cannot crack the top five. It's your list, not mine. It's your list. <laughs> Edger and James can't find a home? There's recency I bias. mean, he could at number six. Mm -hmm. yeah, at number six. <laughs> <laughs> he said he it's was good. born in 95. Yeah, he was born. So yeah. I'm, start, I'm starting to think you want to be a Florida guy. It's, I, I, you feel it. You got excited right here. Florida guy. <laughs> you want to be an Illinois guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's I mean, incredible list. The second Shaq said, in the onset of YouTube, when I said that's yeah. when we all knew yeah. this mm. list was going to have a recency bias. You own your list. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Edge James, that's no fine. Freddy T, no Edge and James. No, no. Edge so, and James. Took the some gold, dogs. The gold teeth to the gold oh, jacket. I, I love the drop down. Not on Shaquille Newton's yeah. top line. It's just ownership of it. Ownership. That's what this is. Good job. Coming up. Get us out of here. We saw a lot of